お前は一体何なんだ友達だ What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Fort Misery Gaming. And today, guys, we got some Digimon Re Arise on the channel because we have a new banner we're going to be summoning on. So that is the guts of the video today. But some big, a lot of things going down. First of all, we are obviously going to summon for Dynasmon. He's an amazing calm Digimon, which we'll talk about in a bit. But he's going to have also have another point battle system. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we are going to get. Um, uh, I'm not sure if this is a ranking. Um, it just says it's Armor Knight Part 1, so I would assume it is. We're going to get another ranking raid. These, I don't even care about them anymore because they are way too grindy because Re-Rise is a side game for me. So I just don't have the time, um, even with being in quarantine, to commit to do this. But there are some Exchange Shop rewards you guys should get. Um, Actually, I hope the exchange shop reward is still up for the pile of Jermon event. I hope it didn't go away. I gotta check that out. But, uh, but these are the Digimon that give you the bonus drop, bonus stats. So you do have Alphamon, Nightmon, Magnamon, Black War Greymon, both Imperial Jermons, and then Dynasmon. Obviously, it's the focus unit, so he's gonna have the most rewards. Uh, we have new items also in the store. So they have dropped Super Awakening early in the game, which is basically gonna allow your Digimon to go to level 120. Big jump in stats and everything. Um, so it looks like here you're gonna get 20 hero codes 20 valiant codes one brave emblem one calm emblem one deft emblem one tenacious emblem one devoted emblem five bit keys and one omni stone so basically these are the materials you're gonna have to use to awaken your digimon so basically we'll go in to see how many hero codes and valiant codes it takes per before we uh go into summonings but each emblem you need one copy of those i believe um and they have to be specific to that element so we have our four types um brave calm deaf and tenacious so that means basically i think in this kit you can awaken if you pay the 250 rubies you should be able to awaken four digimon so um unfortunately they're doing a lot of like same typing bonus effects in pvp right now um and we're really like super awakening is going to really benefit pvp um immensely so i don't know how that's gonna play out exactly because if they keep doing that you're gonna have to buy a bunch of these or you're gonna have to grind them out in clash battle or underworld dungeon i did underworld dungeon once i just those wasn't something i wanted to manually farm over and over so but uh those are available so um depending on where you're at with rubies at least it's not like a paid ruby system where you had to like spend money to get them so they do allow you to get them with the regular rubies we do get in the game um and there's also some uh, Night Metal Exchange limited time offer. So you guys, uh, we're going to be able to get season, uh, the second part for uh, summon tickets. So the new banner is going to be up. Um, as well as other things like the uh, the Nightmon Digi eggs in there. And there's also a Breezy Summer Egg as well. These are the D Digi one in there. Pretty much the same kind of stuff we're used to. There isn't really anything new that jumps out at me. So to me, that's kind of meh. Um, and then the same kind of stuff you guys can get plugins and then the get your night mom to skill level 10 so uh, Those are they use the free-to-play unit for this event um, And then also we do have a couple things added to the shop um, You guys can get the tickets and then there's also gallant mon uh, plugins as well So let's go to the shops real fast before we jump into summoning and I'll show you also how to uh, how to super awaken your digimon um, so these are the materials here once we saw those in the notice, so 250, you can buy those twice a month. Um, and also looks like they did add a Ruby shops for tickets and things like that. I would not buy those though. But anyway, um, then there's the night medals here. We already went over that, but we do have, oh cool, the shop is up. So I can go ahead and grab the, grab some of that stuff before it leaves. Cool. All right, and then the battle park medals, we have Gallantmon, and then we also have, um, some tickets you guys can use your uh with your battle park i usually just do the clash medals um so they should have this up yep so volume two i usually just get the one for the hundred clash battle coins a day and just stock up that way you'll get them you know you won't even realize how many you get throughout this whole period and we still have another week of volume one so yeah <laughs> start uh start stocking up for volume two though uh but if you guys go into training and i was i had to poke around for a little bit to find this but they actually don't have like a separate tab for train. 
you are simply gonna get it once you reach to a Digimon to 99. So like for instance, you guys see there, there's my Magnemon. I'm gonna need one of these, which is the hero code. So the, that's the, uh, the the Valiant code, I guess is what they call. Uh, or no, that, that's the Valiant code. So this you can actually get from Clash Battle. I've only gotten one since like, what was it like? I think on like Monday or last week, they've been enabling us to use uh, level 10 Clash, or level five through 10 Clashes of the older Clashes. I think it's whatever ones that are not the current ones you can get the Valiant codes from. Um, Hero codes, I'm not sure where you can get those, and there's also then the emblems as well. Um, actually, the codes, um, real quick, because if we go to PvP real fast, um, you actually can get two a week, as long as you're in S tier, which probably everyone is. So you can get two of these a week, you need one per Digimon. So it basically leaves it to where, depending on how you get the other ones, I think those are from Underworld, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go to Underworld real fast. Um, I think the uh, the typing emblems is you have to go to Underworld for that. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if it'll let me look at the rewards like to 15. No, it won't, okay. I'm pretty sure that's where you get them though. Um, yeah, it won't tell me the rewards. I'd actually have to go through Underworld, so I'll do an Underworld run uh, tomorrow, um, and I'll I'll add that to a pinned comment in this video if that's how it goes. But I'm pretty sure one from Clash Battle, one from Battle Park, one from Underworld. So that's how you can do it if you don't want to buy the movie rubies. I probably will at least get one set. That way I could get like my Omega Mon leveled up. I can get my uh, Old Force if I wanted to, or I could save it for uh, Paladin Imperial Dramon or my Dynasmon too. So if I, assuming I pull him today. But anyway, that was enough, that was a lot of updates. That was like six minutes of updates of stuff, but they dropped a lot of stuff with this awakening system. So it's very, very big thing in the game. So I definitely wanted to go over that first before we got into summoning. So hopefully we get Dynasmon early and this won't be a super long video. And please do not tell me my internet crapped out on me again. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> my internet went off like three times. All right. Oh, that's the Imperial Jumon banner. Because like the banner looks a little different. That was kind of weird. Oh, what? Alpha Mon's on this banner? Bro, what? No way. All right, even more of a reason for me to summon. I did not expect they were gonna bring Alpha Mon on this banner. That's nuts. They're the two featured units. All right. Hey man, I'm getting paid off for skipping his banner. <laughs> Back for New Year's. All right, so his passive skill allows you to evade attacks two times permanently. So two times he gets to evade. Basically, it's very similar to damage lim damage limiter. Um, now I don't know if that's the first two hits if he fails to evade if he uses it or if he straight up gets to just evade them. I'm not sure on that. It's a new mechanic. Um, JP players will probably be able to tell me. And also increase one's own counter rate by 70%. So pretty solid there. And allows you to deal three times the damage when countering permanent. So... That's actually really good. That makes him like you really want to build him counter. Like any any calm plugins I have that have counter attack, I'm definitely putting on him. So that's pretty dope. Hoping I'm gonna have enough calm plugins to gear him up. I think I can just I'm probably just gonna strip Black War Greymon for now. Throw him on there when I want to incorporate into my team. Um, he is a tech type. It looks like so it deals 420% damage to two enemies. Decrease three enemies target block rate by 20%. Uh, so a triple damage attack and decreases block rate by 20% and increases his own attack by 40%. So built-in damage pump, very, very nice. Um, and then deal 490% to a single enemy increase all allies power damage resistance by 30%. So he's basically a, uh, a he, neg he negates the power type of enemy. So he's actually gonna be, when calm event comes around, He's actually going to be super good because he's going to counter Alphamon. He's going to counter um, Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. And then he's also going to counter, obviously, Omega Mon. So he's super, super good. And if he is targeted by Omega Mon in the opening round, he's going to be able to evade his attack potentially. So I'm definitely going to be pulling all out for him. So let's get started, guys. I'm hoping I can get him, um, you know, within like at least 1,200 of rubies or so. So we'll see how it goes today. We did get Black War Greymon on our... Uh, oh, starting off with Rainbow. I didn't even look at the rates, guys. All right. Let's see if it can be Alphamon or Dynas... If we get... So if we get Dynasmon on this first multi, 
And, and I'm actually shocked we have a natural rainbow because you know Fort Misery usually only pulls rainbows on upgrades. Um, do I go for the Alpha Mon? I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll go down to like 2600 or something like that. Maybe I'll throw like a full thousand. Alright, let's see if we get one of them. Alright, well, we don't have to... <laughs> Alright, let's go! Alright, we don't have to come to that conclusion. So now when we get Dinosaur, we're done. We're out of the banner for sure. Alright. So we didn't get uh, Dinosaur, at least not yet. We do have three gold, so maybe one of them will upgrade to a to a, a rainbow. But that is awesome. Pulling Alpha Mon on the first pull, that's freaking sick, man. That is sick. So I may have to build him eventually um, when we have like a Brave Week. Because, man, that like stacks my Brave team. He was the one unit... That I kept on losing to on like the when we were back to normal PvP and we weren't doing the elemental comps, so oh that was slowing down. I thought that was gonna change, man. I was like, did we pull the whole banner on the first pull? That would have been nuts. All right, no, again, not just the gold. All right, last pull. Can we get a change? Can we get a rainbow? No. All right, all right, we'll settle for our first pull being Alpha Mon though. That's freaking dope. I'll definitely take it. That's awesome. All right. And we got an ultimate form too, which is pretty cool. So, all right. Let's go in again, guys. Going down 3250. Let's see if we get another rainbow. Come on, Dinosmon. I need you. All right. We got a rainbow. Very nice. I, and I didn't look at the rates, man. All right. All right. Two golds and a rainbow. Let's see if we can get any changes here on those golds. Don't change on the blues, man. Give me the changes on the gold if you're going to give me change-ups. All right. And... Oh, Metal Edelon. Dang it. It's been so long. Like, honestly, it's been so long since I pulled on an off banner. I've been pulling, like, nothing but the featured units for so long. So... But, unfortunately, Metal Edelon comes up. So, gotta keep going, guys. This Dynasmon is freaking a sick unit. And he is the last unit before Paladin Mode comes out. <gasps> Yo, Rainbow! Come on, let's go! Oh, another Alpha Mon! No! Oh, mid-sentence and you give me another Alpha Mon, man. That would have been so good to end. Oh, man. Oh, that was on a blue, too. Yeah, that was a blue to Rainbow. Wow. All right. But still, I mean, we're, we're pulling Megas left and right, so... Good sign. Good sign. Alright, no. Because that was what, two Mega Pole? Yeah, it was Alpha Mon and Middle Edamon. So, alright. Can we get this last goal to change the rainbow? Come on, game. Come on. No, alright, alright. Just the gold. Alright. Alright. Try again, guys. Gotta try again. But I'm pretty sure these limited banners, um, they are 7% rates, right? Yes, 7% rates. Yep. 2.5% uh, for the ultimate and then 4.5% for the champion version. Okay. And Dynasmon, believe it or not, has the highest pull rate. His pull rate is actually almost double that of Alpha Mons. That's kind of crazy. We pulled two Alpha Mons and a Metal Edamon before a Dynasmon, but it is what it is. We still... We're still okay. This brings us uh, right under 3k, so we do get another Nat Rainbow. So the same same thing as last pull with uh, two golds and one rainbow. So one, another chance for Dynasmon. Let's see if the third time will be the charm. I'll definitely take... Oh, change, but only a gold. Dang, I was getting excited for a double, another double Mega Pull. So getting out at three multis is super good luck, and that's going to put us in like such... I don't think there's... There definitely should not be another Digimon after this that I'll have to uh, pull for. Black War Greymon, I took the chance on, and I did get him because uh, he's a very good support for the team. Ah, oh, change again, but gold, man. Why can't you change on those golds? Why do you get to change on the blues? All right, yep. Just a blue. At least the golds, we can just sell them straight away for uh, Digi Orbs, though. Because, man, it is a pain in the butt to go through to manually have to... They need to definitely create an auto-feed, auto-awaken, auto-level, like, all that stuff in the game. All right, here's our rainbow. Come on, Dynasmon, please! 
No, Evamon, what the? Come on, man, really? Oh, only to gold. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. My heart jumped, too. All right, can we get a change? Yes, come on! Let's go! Third multi! Yes! Third multi the charm. We got Dynasmon. Oh, yes. All right, man. My luck is on fire to rearise. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. Staying at a very good... Uh, we got the champion level. That's fine. Locking you up right now. Not taking the risk of selling you. Oh, that's sweet, guys. All right. That is awesome. And let's go ahead and lock up, before I forget, lock up our, uh, our alpha mon that we got as well. So, where is he at? That was, uh, alpha mon coming on the banner was totally unexpected. I did not foresee that at all, that we were going to get an alpha mon added to this pool. That, that is freaking sweet. All right, uh, let's see here. He was the dragon. That's the champion version, I see. Did I pass him already? Oh, because it's by stage. Where is he at? Where is our dude at, man? There he is. Okay, I saw him. Right? Yeah, there he is. All right, cool. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be the video. Going to work on these units, um, all that good stuff. And I will, uh, I'll test an underworld tomorrow after I level up our Dynasmon and all that kind of good stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you guys drop a like down below, hit subscribe. If you guys are new, ring that bell so you guys are notified in the next video. Thank you guys so much once again. It's your board for Misery Gaming, and we'll see you all next.